boiling all. Yeah, that's right, kettle's boiling. And we've just woke up. We were absolutely shattered yesterday. I'm not gonna point the camera to Sandra at the minute because she's just woke up, she's a bit. But guys, it's raining. Not that you can say much, but on the windows, you'll see the, the rain, the rain splashes, or rain dots, whatever you want to call them, looking over the right. Literally just walked over five minutes ago, you can see the bags under my eyes. But we're not going to let the rain spoil our adventures while we're here in beautiful Bonnie, Scotland. Brilliant. So just want to say good morning and let the adventures begin, guys. Today is our first big day in Scotland. <whistles> right, season a bit. Oh, it's breakfast time. Well, we're still in Falkirk. Good morning, by the way. Sandra decides to walk over grass the grass instead of a pavement. <laughs> we're, we're now just arrived at where? Falkirk Wheel. The Falkirk Wheel. £29 for both of us, came out of our savings. Um, you can actually stay here just behind, um, behind there is where we've parked. I'm using a small truck, oh, watch me hand, I'm using a small tripod. Um, parking's, yeah, parking's £2.50 for all day. Um, we've never been here before. And, and it goes upside down the wheel. No, it doesn't. It does. It does not. It does. Don't be so stupid. It does. It goes up and then it goes down. Do you not know? So then you're going to fall out? You, yeah, obviously you're going to be fastened in. What's Sandra talking about? Right, we'll beat the Morrisons. Down. And we'll put some water, some drink, uh, bottled water, some tonic for Sandra's gin. Um, a bottle of wine. A bottle of wine. Um, what else did we get? A crate of water. Create the water, I've just said Some that. Some cookies. Some cookies. Bread buns. And we washed Stella. We washed Stella because she needed a wash. I'm hoping, because I know you can stay here overnight in the camp in your in the car park. Fifteen pounds, we're not doing that, but I know there's a chemical waste where we can empty. So we're gonna while we're down here we're gonna see if we can um, find the toilet facility so we can empty the toilet in the van. Um, so far we've drove over 330 miles since yesterday, well since the day before, sorry, but um, we'll see you on the wheel. Take care. Yes, upside down. It's not. It is. <laughs> I'm not going on it then. Well you are, I've paid for you, you got none now. <sighs> we'll see you on the wheel guys. Yeah, upside down. <laughs> well guys, we're on the Falkirk wheel, we're about to take off. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't go upside down as Sandra said. It does? Excuse me, doesn't it go upside down? Mm. Technically the wheel does, but you stay on the level. <laughs> she thinks you're going to go upside down. I don't know, I've been up before, have I? Crack the jack. You're going to end up on the roof. That's Sandra for you. <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe you asked that. Sandra's just asked the um, attendant. <laughs> go on, admit you were wrong. I was wrong, mate. Technically, it does go upside down. It doesn't. We still need it. Anyway, we'll see if we can get some um, pictures. Well, we're on here, it's quite warm on here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Beautiful views. We'll, we'll get some nice pictures on here for you guys in a, in a, a B roll while we're here. See you soon.
ready to well, once upon a time last month was Sonny Falkirk so back to reality but also back to the magic that is the Falkirk field for the trip of a lifetime as two months ago was a 21st birthday and in that 21 years which is a long time in engineering we still are the world's one and only rotating boatman. The only place in the world you can be transported or moved in this unique manner is right now, right here on the Falcon Field. So welcome aboard. My name's Eddie, I'm your skipper. Today I'm working with Brian. Brian's important for another reason and to find out why. Why don't you turn around and give him a wee wave? Here he is waving to you. And then you can be comfortable in the fact that you wave bye bye to the last life jacket on board. <laughs> and don't you worry folks? The answer is you don't need one because you don't work here. Here we go guys, on the Falkirk Whale. So if you can't hardly hear me, obviously there's a lot of people on the, on the canal boat. Guys, we've just getting off the Falkirk Whale. What did you think of that? Yeah, it was good. Uh -huh. I thought. A bit disappointing because I thought we were going to go upside down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. The engineering of that whale, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, what did the gentleman say again? <coughs> Takes the equivalent of four kettles of water to power the Falkirk well, which I think is brilliant. So we're heading back to um, the farm. To the van, to Stella. We're going to take Rocky for a yeah, walk. Yeah, bless him. And um, we'll, we'll see. We'll get the bus into town. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you back at the van. Yes. Bye for now. Bye bye for now. Go. Well, guys. <coughs> As you know, we've just come off the Falkirk wheel. We're back at Stella and Sandra's boat, as she's been going mad for, St. Andrew's flag. So we're gonna proudly place it next to the rest of our stickers on Stella. There you go, guys. What do you think? Brilliant. Right, we're gonna have some lunch and then we're going to be heading to Stirling. First, we need to take Rocky for a walk and Sandra's just stood in the mud. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> I don't know what the phone, what she's talking about. 
We'll see you in Sterling. Take care. Bye for now. Say bye for now. Bye for now. Well, as you can see, guys, we're in part of the National Forest in near Aberforth. We're now we're at the Strathair, yeah? which is not too far from here, where we're going to be retiring for the night. Then we're going to visit the ship in again, as we did in February. We were planning on having a barbecue, but as you can see, it's been... Um, been raining quite heavy. Excuse the wobble, guys. I've left the tripod in the um, in Stella in the van. Um, so we've had a, a lovely day so far. First, we started off at waking up at um, the Kelpies this morning, and then we drove um, about five miles to the Falkirk Wheel, where you all seen us on the wheel there. <clears throat> and we've had a, a drive through Stirling. Um, unfortunately, we never got out the van because it was thrown at down with water. Well, rain, water. Well, water is rain, isn't it? Rain is water. Um, but Sandra's walking rocky. Just a, a car there. Um. And Sandra's walking rocky. Look at that. I've never seen that. You've never seen that before, have you, guys? Because he's got his jaw harness on. So, as I said yesterday, controls him a lot better. If he tries to pull, then Sandra just pulls him back. But as you can see, through the um, trees, we're just at the right hand side of a lock. Lock Katrina. That's correct. Yes, Loch Katrina. So we're just having a little stroll and taking Rocky, Rocky, Rocky for a walk. And um, we've never been to this exact place before, these woods. So we'll... Rocky. we'll Come on, Steve. God, it's like the moon coming over the mountain. I didn't know what you were doing there. Oh, zoom out. Sorry, guys. What? You're on a, you're live. Not live, but... Yeah. Say hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. Tell everybody you're enjoying yourself. Oh, yeah, I'm having a fantastic Good. time. I'm just concentrating on the dog. Yep. Is he pulling too much or not? His arms. There's a fly <laughs> on my left wrist where the camera is. <clears throat> but... But let's um, let's see where this road takes us. Got to watch for the cars. Got a poo bag in my hand. We we'll need to find a bin and get rid of it. Is that a bin there? Oh, I think it is. Well, that was. If that's a bin, I'll eat my hat because I just didn't mention it. That wasn't. Um... No, it's not a bin. I thought it was a bin. Does that look like a bin? <laughs> From a distance. I thought it was, but it's not. Sandra's... Where is she? Sandra's in the background there. Hello, darling. Hello, love. Hey, it feels great being able to do a bit of a video without Rocky pulling on my hand. But look at the views. Wow. Say that my baldy head don't get me baldy head in. Rocky, 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 are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> right, guys, we'll see you further down. It's start to rain again. All right, do you want to carry that bag? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> right, we'll see you further down, guys. To that. Hey, guys. Well, that last walk we did took it out of us. We've 
just arrived, literally not even a minute ago, at Strathire, guys, where we stayed in February at the same spot. So um, it's nice and clean here. Um, just in the distance, behind Stella, where that green canopy is, that's the the brooch, brooch, brock brooch, B R O C H cafeteria. And further down the road is the ship inn where we will be tonight. So Sandra's just getting some coins out because over here, the local community own this place, by the way, and it costs six thousand pounds a year to keep it nice and clean and presentable. As you can see, there is parking bays there. Um, just getting some change out because over here, Brochfield community owned parking and village green there's a um, donation box she's actually shouting to me so it looks like looks like I'm gonna do it yeah baby there's a five pound there's five. as well yeah oh. five pound uh -huh. brilliant do you want to mark it in the book for us yeah. hey the treats on me tonight all right what in there yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, we'll just take £20. I'll take £20. Yeah. Sorry, guys. She's got a a bag with, with savings in. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, we're going to make our donation. There you go. £5 a night, guys. And we're going to stay for two nights. So there's the first night paid for. <sighs> And we're going to have a meal and I think a few beers. That'll go down well. So we'll see you in the shipping. Oh, sorry. I started me. Hey, guys. <clears throat> well, we're about to strap out yet. And the same pub for rain in February. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we decided to have two days here and have some food in here. But the two young girls who were here in February have decided to leave <coughs> and get nine or five jobs, which is understandable. And they're only doing food for residents, so. So, where's the people no food and everyone else is getting fed? Yeah, but we got. Two bags of crisps and a bag of nuts. Then we're having a game of dominoes. Three, five, six, seven. So is it. <laughs> is it. Um, double one next. Double one. Oh, double two. No, it's a double one. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we we'll have here. Some was had a bag of golden wonder salt and vinegar crisps and a pack of KP dry roasted for a tea. So it's double one, isn't it? A double, double one? Uh -huh. yeah. I like it. Yeah, me too. Nope. Double six. Oh, double six. Would you, would you it's a double six, guys. So what we're going to do, we're going to finish up this drink in this game, and we're going to go up the van, and we have some frying steak and some... He does it also. A double six down, didn't I? Put the double six down. I was going to put mine down and think, where's it Put the double six down, as you can see. Double six. And I took the back for some reason. And I was looking for it because I've got to put one down. And I'm looking to the left. Anyway, we'll see you back in the bank, guys. Done it again. Right, well, we'll have steak. We'll see you in the van. That's if it's not frozen.
<laughs> I'm saying we'll have steak if it's not frozen. Oh God, don't say that, Gary. It's just let you know, guys. It's been cut and it's burned. Just let you know, guys. It's absolutely buckling down in Scotland, but that won't stop us. We'll see. He's back in the van. Bye for now. Well, not even half an hour at the White Stag Inn, where we came in February. And we were felt really welcome in February. We had a very good night. Mm -hmm. We came today as promised what we said we would in February. Where are you, Sandra? We came to have some food. And the owner of the bar was um, explained to us that the, um, what was it, the two? Sure stuff. Staff, and only Caitlin called um, residents. Mm -hmm. And then we could have a couple of hours to meet up. Sandra said, oh, we went in <coughs> to have a good night. Um, we paid £9.90 for one beer and a Chardonnay. The gentleman who owns the pub, one of them, had said that the two young girls had left and they were short staffed so they couldn't do food. They could only do food for local residents. So by the by we by the by we had food in the van so but I wanted to treat Sandra. So we sat down. Where are you Sandra? Sorry. We sat down and got our dominoes out and had some a game of dominoes. We ordered another drink. Chardonnay in a beer again, two bags of Golden Wonders Salt and Vigor crisps, and a pack of dry roasted nuts. Bearing in mind at the beginning, I said it was nine ninety for the drink. Two drinks, two bags of Golden Wonder Salt and Vigor crisps, and a bag of roasted nuts. KP, sixteen pounds seventy five. Nearly seven pounds, or over seven pounds. For two bags of crisps and a bag of nuts. Then, residents in the bar came downstairs. The management was feeding them. And the landlady came to us and said, would you mind moving tables? Someone has that table booked. So you can imagine what Sandra did. You nectar drink. Right nectar drink. I left half of mine, which maybe it's cost me over a fiver absolutely distraught yeah. so the white stagging in Strathair, yeah where we give a fantastic comment of don't go back don't go back we will not go back there no. <clears throat> to treat um to members of the public like that, like that is absolutely disgusting mm -hmm. there was around about another five four or five tables, sorry, three or four tables, three. They could have asked the resident to sit there. There was plenty of space. That is not good. It's not good for business. No. <coughs> and it's not good for hospitality. You speak to a couple who have been in business for a lot of years in a different... No wonder until uh -huh. the residents come down. Uh -huh. No, I haven't got no. I haven't got an issue with the residents. You know. No, I'm I, about the yeah. Landlady. Yeah, I haven't got an issue with the residents. They paying. The yeah. They paying for, and yet she was lovely in February. I know. You know. That's what I mean. We spent a lot of money, money in there in February, over a hundred pounds for a good night. We I've drove. Got to pop in there before I leave and give up just my mind. We drove. I'll tell you what I think about. From the Kelpies, the um, Falkirk Wheel, not really far. Because we like this spot where we were. There's nothing wrong where we are now, no, you know. No. Sandra no. had to bite her tongue because this area where we are is owned by the local community and I didn't want to cause an issue. So the white stag in. No. Guys, not good. The hospitality was very, very poor. Yeah, the landlady said a loan, she had a little natter, but to move us away from a table where we were, we were the first persons in that bar, apart from a gentleman called John, 
who was at the bar having a drink. He left, he left after his second pint or whatever he was drinking to move us after we spent 30 odd pounds in the space of half an hour there. Disgusting. That's wrong, right? Mm -hmm. So guys, the white stag, the Strathire, it's up to you guys, you know, they did give us a good time in February, but we will not be going back. No. no. Shame on you. Take care. We'll see you later. Sandra's putting the steak on. Well, you are. <laughs> oh, I am. Well, good morning guys, it's Saturday morning, sorry about the wobbly, the wobbly hand, we are still at Strathire. Sandra's asleep still, we had a couple of beers last night, and well, I'm taking Rocky for a walk, if you can remember last year, uh, sorry, no, last year, February, uh, Rocky's horn, so he's pulling. Hey, hey! In February, we came here, we had a, a lovely walk. Oh. I think it was the wrong idea to put them on this morning for a walk because I just went over a stone. Oh. Anyway, I thought we'd take Rocky for a little walk. while I enjoy the beautiful views of Strathire. Absolutely gorgeous. We're back <clears throat> and we're in Calendar on this beautiful, <laughs> wet Saturday afternoon. Dusk on 12 o'clock. Where are you? <laughs> Give your hand. That's it, because there's a car behind us. I'm here. We've just came from Strathire. <coughs> and um, we, stopped at, we stopped at the Brooch campsite. Well, it's not a campsite. It's like a, a place you can park overnight for a, a donation. We had a lovely breakfast at the Brooch, if I'm pronouncing it right, B-R-O-C-H, the Brooch Caf. Do you enjoy the breakfast? It was really, really nice. Nice and fresh. Really, really nice. So if you're in Strathire, yeah, pop to the brooch cuff. Really nice. So go and have a Not look around. Disappointed. No, she was off the, the white stag in last night. Bad, bad. And we've been looking on reviews there this morning. And they've got bad reviews, some bad, some good. But never mind. At least we know we have to go anymore. We're gonna have a walk around calendar. We've seen, we've seen a, br a bakery there, so we're going to have a little look. Oh, oh whiskey wine. Whiskey wine. Uh, sweet shop. In a sweet shop. Sandra's seen the sweet shop. She's just had her breakfast. Um, look at that. Whiskey wine. Ooh. Just using the hand, by the way, guys. Yet again, tripods in the van. I keep forgetting it. Right. We're going to have a walk around. If we see anything, what looks nice, we'll bang the video on. Take care for now. Bye.
Well, guys, here we are in Calendar and a museum for a pound entry. We're just having a look at all the old things and some fantastic. Oh, there's a false lap. Collectible items. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Old military bowler suit. So th these are all from maybe it's World War One, World War Two. Donut maker. I don't know if any of you old guys can recognise things. Ajax. We shall soon persuade the Highlander to publicly admit her Gael's wow. disloyalty to the king. Away back to Edinburgh and make sure that MacGregor's name and his work are dirt. All right, son. I will heard. collect my debt by force. You're happy. I am. Um, Jesus. Say hello. Hello. Mm. Mm. It's been taking some pictures. He had that which was not his to hurt. Wow. Nice place. Hey guys, well, we've sat down, just in the pub, having a Coca Cola. Sandra needs a toilet, and I have a thing about going to pubs using the toilet without buying something. So, for the privilege of Sandra needing uh, the toilet, I'll pay five pound ninety for two cups. Cheers. So we're in Calendar, just passing through, and um, we've been to the local sweet shop to buy the grandchildren some sweeties. We got some shortbread, and I got Sandra a little truffle, chocolate truffle box as a treat for her, and a Scottish tablet. If you know what a, Scot a Scottish tablet is, that's all. Scottish tablet. World famous Scottish tablet. Amy Johnson's secret recipe. Ingredients of brown sugar, full cream, condensed milk, glucose syrup, palm camel, and buttermilk. And a wee bit of salt. So, I'm going to sit here. Sandra. 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 We're on a vlog, by the way. Oh, I was just telling the viewers. Yeah. I was just telling the viewers yeah. um, that you really need the toilet. Yeah. That's because I won't go in a pub just for the toilet. But I needed a cold drink. What yeah. Do you know? We paid the five pound ninety for the privilege of you need the uh, wee wee. That's why I have a very expensive wife, guys. Next time we'll go to the supermarket, right? We want to get some coffee. But, but I love her. So, whatever she needs, she has. We're going to be driving through the Stirling and we're stopping tonight on a campsite for the first time, guys. We have a shower and everything in the van. But we kind of put the awning out because it's raining so <laughs> we're going to stop over the campsite the night in Stirling. Tomorrow we might be on a boat with Gary driving it. Let's see what the weather takes us. So if the weather's fine that is we will be on a boat tomorrow for four hours for 30 quid. So the money we save and not going to campsites every night we could have more fun. All right. six pound back out there. I don't want Practice. the money back don't be so silly. Don't be silly. That's for just, just remember, just remember everything we've spent calendar 
uh-huh. needs to be wrote down on the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll see you in Stirling, guys. Bye and we'll, for now. we'll show you the campsite. Ta da for now. Bye. Well, guys, we're here at the campsite. And we've got a barbecue. We've got the barbecue on the go. Just let it. £10 from B&Q, a barbecue bucket. So this is where we are, guys. Not far from Strathire. Well, Stirling, still under Strathire, isn't it? It's a lovely campsite, £25 for the night. With fantastic views. Uh, we're parked right near the shower block, which is open 24 hours a day. There, you can see, I'll show you. You can see a water point. Over there is... Um, just in the middle there is the chemical waste and grey waste and there's bins on the other side. You can also hire a boat here and go fishing. So why not? So we've got the barbecue on, chairs are out. I was going to put the awning out, but um, it's raining now and again, so we just thought we'd do it like this. Are you happy, Sandra? I am. Very Where happy. are you? Hello. Rocky's there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to see what happens with this barbecue. We've got some Wish steak. Luck. We've got some. Um... I thought we got lamb chops. I thought we did as well. Oh well. We must, you must have forgot to put them in the bag. I'll go back and get them next time. Eh? Right, right. We'll see when the barbecue's um, about to be served up. It's in a bit. Well, guys, as you can see. Rocky's about slavering at the mouth because he's spotted the steak. We have the um, kebabs. What are they called? Koftas. Kofta kebabs. Some steak and we've got some burgers in the van ready. Yeah, and I've got um, some tomatoes and spinach. Right. <laughs> the rest of the salad, that's nice. Mm. Right, if you're a good boy, daddy will give you some. But I have to cook. I have to cook it first. You have to wait. Poor, good boy. Sit. No. Ah, ah. <laughs> Look, he's got hold of the table and he's thinking that's mine. <laughs> Get down. Take your paw off. I think his foot stuck. No, right. Sit. Sit. Me. Stop your growling. I'll put you in the cage. You're not getting any. Paul. <laughs> right. You go and wait. Guys, he's an animal. We'll spit you in a bit. Hopefully, Rocky won't get the steak before we try it. Sandra has decided to take over the barbecue and what's going on. She's putting some peppers on the kofta kebabs. Rocky's in the cage because he's been naughty. He's after that steak. The so problem he... with me. Mm -hmm. And we're putting up things like that. Nope. We're going to get some steak. Nice love. Yeah. Hey. Mm. <laughs> mm. hey, well, guys, it's starting to get a bit grey clouds over us. Sandra's chilling out. And, um, a little bit of steak. So it's rocky, even though he was naughty before. And we've got some burgers on the go. But I must admit, Hunter's Butchers and Teesside, the meat is fantastic. What I did learn today, and this is a heads up for everyone, your superstores, the advice I can give is don't buy your meat from there. 
because if you if you're having steak or something like that they're actually injecting pork fluids and things like that in and other chemicals and it's actually done from a plant one plant in germany and then they ship it somewhere else and it's injected with this other stuff and i was disgusted so really if you're eating beef it's not well it is beef but they inject it with other stuff and what they do it is they do it to make the the meat go fatter so you're getting more it looks as if you're getting more for your money that's not going to happen again we will continue as we did starting third wednesday sorry to go to butchers is that right love yes that's right my love good <laughs> anyway i've had a couple of cans of copperberg and i'll tell you one thing about the place we are at the scene these lovely sailor boats we might be going on one tomorrow Ooh. the place we're at um is absolutely phenomenal 25 pound a night Stuart, the um the keeper here what a lovely gentleman he's had a little chat with us and um we might come here again even though we don't go to campsites normally so we'll probably say ta-da for now i've got a lot of editing to do ta-da for now on this saturday afternoon and we'll catch, catch up with you in the morning in the morning speedy in the morning then guys bye for now oh sorry bye for now we're using the tri-board that's how quick it is turning the hand <laughs> well like that no don't do that because it'll come out silly right we'll see you later guys have a good saturday afternoon and don't forget to hit the notification button and please subscribe to our channel guys and don't forget to ring that bell and don't forget to ring the bell good night take care god bless and we love you all loads to that for now oh and before i go <clears throat> the guy i met at the service station um near uh, just off the a1 as if you're heading for blythe where the holiday inn is you know who you are thanks for subscribing mate um i love that for you take care and i hope you um Bus steps to the zone where there's a couple of Take care for this. Join us on the next episode when we visit a whiskey distillery. Thanks for watching, guys.